That's not much good. I've had this axe for about, oh, 20 years. And I finally busted the handle on it. Well, that's a nice little axe, actually. I really like it. It's just a small one. Made in Sweden. And it's two and a half pounds. I don't know if that'll come through on the... It's two and a half pounds and... Oh, I'm not much of a, an axe expert or anything. So I don't know what that's called. For cut or style or anything. It's just, uh, we've always called them uh, brush axe. So, I went and found myself a new handel. Now, this is the name of it, and they call it a boy's axe handle. Well, like I said, we've always called them a brush axe around here. And uh, what I like about the 28 inch handle, well, it's pretty much what my other one was. And uh, it's nice you can use it with two hands and yet still use it with one hand and with a two and a half pound head on it, it seems pretty nice. Now this has got, it says hickory on it and it's got a pretty decent grain pattern on it. It's not perfectly vertical but the only one in, other one in the store the grain was almost horizontal on it, which is just wrong. So you know how much care they put in the selection of their axe handles with this company, which is not much. And it has got the most horrible finish on it. It's just like somebody put sand in the lacquer. So let's fix all that up. Step number the first. Gotta get the old one out of there. This one's got a metal wedge in it by the looks of it, but... That's not much good, is it? Attempt number the second. Oh, we got one with a actual right size on there. And you can see the wide end almost fits in there. But the narrow end's got to come in first. And this is an American made hickory. And it's called a swinger. Not quite as elegantly shaped as the original one, which was a Canadian made one I can see. But we'll get her to fit up. This one actually came with a wedge and two aluminum step wedges. So we'll work on getting this fitted up. 
The first thing we'll do is get rid of that big staple I've got in it for hanging it on the shelf. And I'll get rid of the stickers on it. And a paint scraper works reasonably well for that. And also that horrible, horrible lacquer finish that's on there. Now, if I put the narrow side down, I can pretty much see it's pretty close. Another handy tool is a rasp. This is a four in one, flat and flat and curved and curved, coarser and finer. And just take it a little bit at a time. I don't want to go too far. I want it nice and snug. Got that started on there, and the thing is not to beat it on there. Hold it up, take a rubber mallet of some sort, and you can see. Where it's tight, it's shaving it off. So that tells us next where to go, and we're in there. But we got a little bit of work to do. So we'll take it off and try it again. And we can see where that is.
that's not too bad. I got good contact all the way around there. Almost complete contact. We've taken it off one last time and cleaned off the ridge. I'm going to give it a little bit of boiled linseed oil. I'm just taking away that ridge that's curled down. You can see how much I've got sticking out of there now. So now we'll get the wedge in there. We hope. That's the plan. can come in a bit more. Yeah, it looks nice and tight around the, the edge here. So this is a personal preference thing. Some guys like them flush. I don't. I like keeping them a little bit proud. or so. And there's a reason for that, which I will show you next. But before that, we'll get a step wedge put in. Coat of blow, boiled linseed oil. This time I'm wearing my gloves. Much nicer than the blacker. Much nicer. That horrible lacquer stuff. If you've ever used a really old hammer with a wooden handle, that feels really comfortable because all that horrible lacquer is gone. But it still needs some protection. And here's why I like to leave that a little bit proud. Take some masking tape, or a tape of any kind I suppose. good. So now we've got like a little dam. And we'll take linseed oil, our blow, and we'll 
just give her. And we're just going to let that sit there and soak in. Just let it soak in at least overnight. You've heard of handles coming loose and people say, oh, we'll put it in a bucket of water. Well, they come loose because the handles do lose moisture. But if you put water in it, it's very temporary and usually dries out the wood even more after the water evaporates and your handle will get loose again, even looser. This way with the boiled linseed oil it'll sink into the fibers and it will cure and will prevent anything from escaping or going into it. So it should be a long term, longer term solution to having your he heads come loose on hammers and axes. And now we've got an axe rehung on its handle. And some of that linseed oil is bound to leak out a little bit. And it doesn't do too bad as a metal preservative too. that was taken down last year. I think that'll do for blooming. <laughs> 